That's all you got. One rep. We'll find a way to win. Always have a game-ready mindset. We will find a way to compete. Always be on. Always be up. We will find a way through it. If you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. Certainly were big plays, and we felt like, uh, you know, our run defense going in was going to be critical, and they got two big runs on us. And uh, you eliminate those, we, we held them in the run game. Um, but those those plays are going to occur in some games. We feel like if we minimize them, cut them in half. And the same thing on the offensive side. You know, we had four trips into the red zone, scored three touchdowns, came away with a field goal on the first possession. And you got to minimize those misses and mistakes. You don't focus only on that side of it. The other thing you focus, we've got to go make those big plays. In games, there's usually four to five big plays, like a handful of big plays in each game, win or lose, and you've got to be the team that goes and makes those, and you've got to be the team that minimizes on mistakes or misses, missed opportunities, and capitalize on things that are right in front of you, scoring off turnovers, uh, special teams. So it all, it all is a big mix, you know, in terms of uh, going and executing, knowing these things, and, and training weekly. You've got to turn it into action and execution on the field. There were things when, when our back was to the wall uh, at the goal line. Uh, in the fourth quarter, we had two three and outs. Our defense produced a couple three and outs. So when our back was to the ball wall, we played good good football. Um, saw a lot of team pride, and, and this has happened throughout the years. We've had some big chunks against us, but guys are running people down, you know, inside the five and the ten yard line, showing a ton of team pride, both sides of the ball, and so those were good things, you know. And, and some of our execution was good. We've just got to make more plays. We got to minimize mistakes or misses, and uh, play complete team ball for four quarters. They're another good physical, athletic MSFA opponent, and uh, on offense they throw it quite a lot. Quarterback's been very productive. He's got three really good receivers. Uh, their run game sound, but they, they choose to throw more. Um, they're good in the red zone on offense, so it's it's an area we've been good on defense. So that should be a battle, and see which time which side overtakes that. Um, offensively, we feel like we got to keep a mix in the game against Marion. We ran the ball uh, periodically at times, and we felt like we had some consistency if we could have stayed in the run game a little more. Um, so it's it, on offense, it's a mix of run pass, and what we got to do is also have a mix of who's handling the ball and making and giving our production. Well, I think red zone on both sides of the ball is going to be important. You know that we play good red zone defense as we've done and shut down their production on red zone, and then. Even offensively, when we get in the red zone four or five times, we get touchdowns, not field goals. We get early scores, um, you know, and then there'll, there'll be both teams have opportunities to fly by or run through the red zone. It won't all happen there, but that, that's a pivotal part. And then just staying on the field with first downs and third down conversions and on the opposite side, getting off the field. Turnovers are big, um, you know, limit our turnovers and, and uh, simply that. Always carving some stuff away. You know, we feel like good quality uh, reps and quality effort is part of carving away excess. Um, but you can't get so thin and narrow that you don't have a few things, wrinkles, and a few things to apply pressure on the defense. So it's a bit of both, um, and that's on the offensive side. It's similar on the defensive side. You know, we want to. We went into this game and said we want to apply pressure all day, and it did not mean we're blitzing every down or we're throwing up the field every down. But we're you know full effort. And apply pressure at every position, whether you know whether we have a play called for that guy or not. Backside of blocks, backside of plays, backside pursuit. Um, just keep applying pressure all day. Well, we've we've got three games remaining in the league, and uh, you know we've played some really stout opponents early, and and uh, where we head from here, you know it's going to be competitive week after week. This this league's outstanding. Very tight margins. You know, when you play a league opponent. And regardless of the score, sometimes the score will open up a bit, but the margins are very tight. Play here, play there, possession here, possession there. And, uh, and you know, football's a great thing. you got, you got the most moving parts of any game that's invented. And uh, you got 11 on your side, you got 11 on there. So there's 22 moving parts out there. And those moving parts are colliding. There's a lot going on. And, and it, so it's so competitive, play after play after play. You want to contest every play, every possession. And uh, where we go from here, we know it's going to be tight margins. We know they're going to be close games. We know that every possession and every carry, every catch, every tackle, every pursuit, uh, you know, you just put a high premium on each one. So you got to play team ball and uh, come together and play it. I, you know, it's 
a great game. Our guys have great team pride for this game and for one another. I think one thing that's exciting when you watch our guys, they demonstrate to each other how much the game means to them. And they demonstrate a thing that uh, four things, that, and we talk about it periodically. We've introduced it to them periodically, but four things. You know, and, and it's love for one another. They love the game. They love one another. They're going to go compete together. And you know what? Four things. You protect always and defend. You know, everybody's in this together. You trust, you know, and, and, and that's a growing thing in a team and in a season, but you trust each other. You hope. You always know that right around the corner is better still football, and, uh, and and you have a lot of belief in one another, and you persevere at anything that comes your ways. The highs, the lows, the battles, and all those moving parts in a team and on the field at a time, 11, and on a team, 80. Um, you know, it, it's a great game to play. And I'm proud of our guys, the team pride that they demonstrate week after week after week. Yes, we'd like to minimize on some of our mistakes. We'd like to make more plays. And that's still ahead of us. And that's what we battle for every week.